to Kelly Barlow Creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I upload a new video, depending on the option that you choose in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below. What have I got going on for you for today? Today, I am bringing to you a quick, easy, and most of all, budget-friendly paper crafting DIY. It is March, so St. Patrick's Day is right around the corner, and Allie was looking through Pinterest, looking for a paper crafting DIY that I can do to gift the little treats that we're gonna be giving to her class in, and I tell you, she found a really cute one. Over the last few holidays, I've been bringing to you some of these easy to do paper crafting DIYs because you all really seem to love them. And I just wanna be clear when I say that these are not my idea, these are not a craft that I came up with. I just see them on Pinterest and I put my own twist on them and I thought that it would be fun to show you all how easy it is to paper craft. I know that some of you tell me that it's really intimidating to do. You feel like you need a lot of these fancy tools to do it and you really don't. If you haven't seen my haul on paper crafting tools that the Dollar Tree has, the must-haves, I will link that in the description box below because you can get some really great paper crafting tools at the Dollar Tree for a dollar, and you can start a little collection that's gonna make paper crafting a bit easier. If you don't have them at your Dollar Tree, you can really just use the everyday things like a ruler, scissors, and some double-sided tape, maybe a tacky glue, and you can really do it with just those items too. And so today I thought I'd bring to you this adorable, oh my word, wait until you see this, this matchbox that Allie picked out that we're gonna be gifting gold coins in from the Dollar Tree. These are so easy to do, they are super cute. And so we did them and we added our own little twist onto them. And I tell you, these are really cute and such a fun way to gift these fun little coins. Getting started with this DIY, you're gonna need two pieces of cardstock. And because I was just at Hobby Lobby, I picked up a bunch of this solid cardstock because it is four for a dollar. You don't need 12 by 12 cardstock. You can get away with using eight and a half by 11 sheets for this DIY, and you're only gonna need two of them. I suggest using one solid piece of cardstock for the drawer. And I would also say getting a printed one for the outside box because today we are making a match box. And so again, both of these are from Hobby Lobby. This is an eight and a half by 11 sheet that they have. And their eight and a half by 11 sheets are four for a dollar two, which kind of stinks because they didn't have this pattern in the 12 by 12. Otherwise I would have gotten it because that's a significant paper difference. For me, it's always fun when you have that 12 by 12 sheet of pattern paper, whatever it is that you're using, and you get to save this extra paper for scraps because it always comes in handy. But they didn't have this cute one in the 12 by 12, and I really liked this because it wasn't the bright, bright Kelly green, da dum dum as I put it, this green, but even brighter. And I really wanted something just a more muted, color because that's just me and so this was perfect and this is gonna work so let's get crafting and let me show you how to make this diy matchbox that you are gonna love it is so quick and easy for the drawer if you use a 12 by 12 sheet of cardstock you should be able to get two of the drawers out of one piece and then you'd have this extra here and this extra piece here. I'm not gonna cut the extra door because I don't need it right now, and so I'm gonna keep the bigger piece for scraps. For the drawer, your cardstock's gonna need to measure out at seven and three sixteenths of an inch long by four and 15 sixteenths of an inch wide. Now, I know that seems like some funky measurements, but because we need the drawer to slip into a sleeve, it needs to be just a centimeter smaller than the sleeve itself, and so that's how we're gonna do it. The measurement for seven and three sixteenths of an inch is, here's the seven, you're gonna go one, two, three. This third line here, which is the line before your quarter of an inch. So it's the small line right before a quarter of an inch. 
Now for four and 15 sixteenths of an inch, it is gonna be the small line before five inches, the 15th line. To score the drawer, I'll be using my Martha Stewart scoring board. If you don't have a scoring board, a great alternative is this scoring and piercing tool that the Dollar Tree is carrying. This comes in a two pack. This is really great. Not only is this great for scoring, but this is great as like a bone folder to really get your creases and folds nicely. If you have a cutter, but you don't have a scoring blade to switch out your cutting blade with, you can still use your cutter along with your Dollar Tree scoring blade and just go ahead and score it using your Dollar Tree scoring blade and you don't even have to remove the cutter. If you have your cutter but you don't have a scoring blade, you can very easily use the cap to an old big pen. You can very easily use the cap to these old, what is this, paper made or big pen. This end here makes for great scoring. And if you don't have a cutter, you don't have a scoring tool, use a good old ruler with your pen cap and you can score. It works great. I got this ruler from the Dollar Tree, this clear ruler. This is great for paper crafting because it's clear and you can see through it. So for the drawer on all four sides, we're gonna score at one and a quarter inch. So that means that we're gonna score it on each side. We scored, we're gonna rotate, score at one and a quarter inch again, rotate, score it again at one and a quarter inches, rotate, and score it for the last time. Now you can see here that we've got these four squares on each of the points. And so what I like to do is on the short side here, along the scoring line, we're gonna go ahead and cut it in right to the middle scoring line here. And on the tab here, we're gonna just kind of taper it in just a bit because it makes it a bit nicer. And so if you taper in both your edges, just like so, you're gonna get nicer edges on your drawer. And so we're gonna do that on all four corners. You don't wanna taper in this flap here. You just wanna do your outer flaps because this is what's gonna make it square. So you should be left with this. So now we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna fold in all of our lines. And that's when this end of the tool also comes in handy to really get that fold nice and flat. With paper crafting, there's a couple different ways to adhere your pieces together. You can use Aileen's Tacky Glue. This is a three ounce bottle that you can get from the Dollar Tree. This works amazing. Dollar Tree is also carrying these double-sided tape rolls by Crafter Square. And if you can't find this roll, you can always buy a double-sided tape that Dollar Tree has in their office supply section and that would work just as well too. We're gonna fold in all of our flaps and the tape from the Dollar Tree, you just kinda roll it off and you wanna place it as close to the scoring line as you can and you can either rip it off or you can cut it and you're gonna place your tape on all four flaps This double-sided tape here that you can get from the Dollar Tree is the same type of tape that comes in the ATG, the Advanced Tape Glider. This thing is amazing. This is something that I've got at Michael's before. Um, you can also get it on Amazon. Uh, the link to it, if you're interested, is in my Amazon store in the description box below. Just click on the Amazon link and you'll see my store and you'll see this in it if you're interested in it. By using the piercing side of the scoring blade, you can very easily peel up the paper 
off of this. We've got all our tape, so now all we're gonna do is just fold in our edges here and close up our box. And so that's why you wanna put the tape where the scoring is, where the fold is, because when you bring your flap up, it's gonna adhere here and it's not gonna come apart. To where if you put the tape over here, it's gonna adhere here, but it's not gonna have a nice, tight seal, I guess. And so you can also see that by tapering in your top edges, the flaps in there are not coming out over the top here. You've just got one clean box. So the box part of this is done. Now we need to do the sleeve that this is gonna slide into. Now again, we're gonna have enough for two sleeves because this is the piece for the sleeve and this is what's left from the eight and a half by 11 sheet. And so you would have enough for two sleeves and two boxes using the two pieces of scrapbooking paper that we use, the cardstock and this printed one. Now for the sleeve, we're gonna score at one and a quarter three and three quarters, five inches, and seven and a half. Gonna flip the paper over, fold in all of the scoring lines. On the back side here, we've got this half inch flap here. This is where we're gonna place some of the adhesive. And if you keep your paper flat and you fold it in half, you can very easily meet your lines. And then you've got your slip cover. Super easy to do and look at how stinking cute that is. Now we just take our box and it's gonna slide right in to the sleeve here, just like so. Look at how cute that is. I love this. So if you wanna decorate this, you can. I'm going to just a bit. So I'm gonna use some of my scrap card stock that's left over, and I'm gonna cut a piece at an inch and a half, a strip at an inch and a half, because I wanna do like a belly belt. And that's what's just gonna go around the center here. And so with this, we're gonna add some adhesive. to the edge here. And on the bottom side, go ahead and place this in the middle. I'm just gonna eyeball it. If you wanna measure, you can. And I'm just gonna fold it over. Again, not measuring. If you really wanted to score this, you would score it at the same measurements that you scored your sleeve at. Now, I'm gonna embellish the center of this and to embellish stuff like this when paper crafting, I find that cupcake toppers are adorable and you get a lot for your money. This pack of clovers comes with 24 and these clovers are just beautiful. It's a beautiful green, a beautiful gold. It's the perfect size. And for just about any occasion or holiday, you can get cupcake toppers for pretty inexpensive at Michael's. These say they were $2.99, they were 40% off on sale. So, you know, we're looking at $1.75 for 24 of these, which is a great buy. And so I think instead of just putting it flat on here, I want to make it pop up a little bit. And so to do that, I'm gonna use this foam tape. This comes in a three pack. There's three different size tapes. The width is different. And so I'm gonna use this to elevate the shamrock just a bit. And so with this, I'm gonna take Allie's coins and I'm gonna fill her drawer with coins. How fun is that? I love that. And I might even go get another pack. These were from the Dollar Tree. But look at how fun that is for St. Patrick's Day. Just a cute little treat box. I love it. 
I think it's fun, super budget friendly, using two pieces of scrapbooking paper. And uh, if you really wanted to, you could get stickers at the Dollar Tree. I found some really cute ones uh, that I actually did this drawer with. This Feeling Lucky came in a sticker pack. Let me see, it came in this sticker pack and I removed it from right here. This was kind of like an everything pack. And how fun is that? Just a cute little treat box, something that's handmade that makes it fun. I love these, I think, oh, I don't know. I just love paper crafting. I love the outcome, I love creating it. I told you, these are so quick and easy and the amount of paper it takes, you're gonna get two matchboxes out of two pieces of paper, which is amazing. Eight and a half by 11 sheets of paper. And if you've been following me since I think maybe before Christmas when I did my gift card holders, you'll know that I really like to use cupcake toppers as embellishments and DIYs and paper crafting because really you get so much more for your money. The toppers are stinking adorable. They come out with them for every holiday, every season, every occasion. That's one of my little tricks of the trade that I like to use for embellishments rather than using some of the pop-up stickers that you can get at Michael's or Joann's because they can get pretty expensive. And if you use cupcake toppers with some foam double-sided tape, you're gonna get the same effect and they're gonna be even cuter. I hope you all enjoyed today's paper crafting DIY for St. Patrick's Day. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and if you want to see more of these paper crafting DIYs you know what to do you got to leave me a comment in the comments below because I go off of your feedback and let's make sure to get this video to a whopping 5,000 likes because like I always say each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you do leave down below they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more until next time everybody I hope you have a fantastic day Happy paper crafting on a budget. And bye for now, everybody. <laughs>